So the big question is this, how do most agents who struggle to get the information that most successful agents hoard to themselves grow and prosper without this information? That's the big question and this video cast is the answer. Welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I'm your host, Pat Hyben. And now for the review of the day. Got a five-star review from Realtor Randy. Five stars, Realtor Randy, one of the best podcasts going today. Thank you so much. Great content. Thank you, Realtor Randy. Keep the comments coming, guys. I love them. And remember, I eat feedback for breakfast. So give me a one-star review if you want or a five-star review if you want. I don't care. And the more reviews we get, the better guests we get. So please, subscribe first and then leave us a review or wherever you're listening. All right, Rockstar Nation, I got a great guest today. Shadi Bazi is on the line, and Shadi is, man, he is killing it in the coaching world, but he's highly, highly focused, and there's a reason why he's here today. And the reason is because more and more people are coming to me and saying, we need to learn how to get business on our own without paying money for it and how to break the addiction cycle of buyer leads because they're getting worse and worse and worse and harder and harder and harder by the literal day. And I said, well, who is the guy I need to talk to? Some people said, shoddy, you need to get shoddy. So I'm excited. I got shoddy. Welcome to the show. Hey, man, I'm super excited. Thank you for having me here, long time listener, as they say, long time listener, long time, long time fan, and here I am, so I'm honored. Well, listen, why don't you uh, give everybody a rundown on who you are, Shadi, so they could get to know you better. Terrific, so, you know, Pat, I've been in the business now for, uh, you know, directly and indirectly for well over 20 years, I think since uh, 1995, I got involved in real estate in a, in a city called Dearborn, which is a suburb of uh, Detroit. And uh, did pretty okay here in, in, in this marketplace. And someone introduced me to uh, an audio cassette program that says, here, listen to this, and you would be able to become a better agent. Well, I took that audio program while delivering pizza and memorized the heck out of it. And <laughs> the person, you know, whose audio program it was, it was Mike Ferry's audio program. And I was like so pumped up and so motivated. And I'm like, if these guys can do it, I can do it. I'm going to sell my house, leave my two-year-old son with his grandparents, and I'm moving to California to go work for Mike Ferry. Everyone says, you are nuts. You are crazy. So that's exactly what I did. Drove across the country. Uh, Wayne got a job there. Did very good very quickly in his company and uh, built up the ranks to uh, – I got to the point where I was like literally uh, in charge of the internal one-on-one -on -one coaching department with their inside sales staff, et cetera. And uh, being around the coaching industry, I was like, well, I want to become a coach. I mean, you know, I, I fell in love, you know, with helping people the way that company helped me. Um, and then I wanted to go back into real estate first to prove that I can really do what I've learned. So dive back into real estate, did very good, very quickly. Again, like, like literally I was able to put over a hundred thousand dollars worth of commissions together in my first 30 days, took my first listing 24 hours later <laughs> after I got in the business. And this was around the time that, you know, Mike and Tom split up uh, and, you know, Tom Ferry took notice and, you know, of course he brought me back in, you know, because my real passion was, you know, helping people and uh, went his there dad, and- His dad sued him. His dad sued you and him probably because of that, right? Yeah. You know, we don't need to get into the diesel. <laughs> okay. You know, keep going. If, if you understand, <laughs> uh, you, know, you, you know what I'm talking about. So, but what ended up happening is um, I was like, yes, I want to do this. So I went to, you know, work with Tom, uh, helped him build up his company. Uh, became like literally the number one coach in the company. At one time, I trained every single one of the coaches, uh, even created uh, some of, uh, you know, the Tom Ferry, you know, products at that time. I was in charge of creating, you know, product development and uh, had the most in-demand one-on-one coaching clients. Uh, never had less than 100 one-on-one coaching clients at the same time. 
Uh, currently speaking, I've been on almost 30,000 one-on-one coaching clients with people from all over the country. My company is called Top Listing Agent, and that's what we do. That's amazing. Um, I, I love that. First of all, I love a couple of things. I love, I love that your company is called Top Listing Agent because it shows that, you know, don't call me. Yeah. If, if your dream is to build a team with, you know, 35 buyer agents, because mm-hmm. that is a dream of, you know, agents get in the business, they're in the business two years and they go to a couple a company events and they're like, I want to build a buyer agent team and I want to have 40 people on it. And, you know, in, in a year, you know, and, and uh, I see it being done and it's just a terrible lifestyle. They're just not making any profit. And so, Yours is like, hey, don't call me unless you want to be a listing agent. I Absolutely. really think every, every agent, like the world will be a better place in real estate if every agent got into business. They weren't allowed to work buyers for a year. You know what I mean? Like they had to become a listing mm-hmm. agent. Their life would be so much better, let's say. Not the world. Their life would be so much better. But, but uh, so I love that. I love how, um, you know, it's funny because I had uh, someone on the show this morning and she said to me, she said, I've got expired listings figured out. And I said, how do you, got, how do you have it figured out? And she goes, what people don't understand is that when an expired listing gets called, right, by like eight different people, all of the scripts being used are some form of Mike Ferry's script, meaning his son took them. Um, and then, you know, Diana Kokoska, who used to work for him, Tony DeSello used to work for him, Tim Harris, Julie Harris, they all used to work yourself. They all used to work for Ferry, and they're all teaching the same script in some form or format. And she goes, all I did was I do something absolutely completely different than anything possible that could have derived from Mike Ferry, and I'm crushing it. And in the last 18 months, she's listed 200 expireds. And I'm like, oh, my God. So I just think it's coincidental that you should come on. So I hope that, uh, you know, you can tell us something different uh, than what you've learned in your upbringing. For sure, for sure. And, you know, just to piggyback on, you know, the the woman that you shared that was on your show that took so many expired listings. uh, And, and, you know, one of the things that I do is I tell my clients, I want you to be the better version of yourself, not to be another version of someone else. So mm-hmm. I teach my clients how to become script independent. I don't want you to depend on a script. I want wow. you to just be human and treat people with authenticity and genuinity. And, you know, you know, say, be honest, be genuine, be authentic, be sincere, because these are the four things that people cannot reject. Hmm. You get my point? So, do, but dig into it deeper. They can't reject. Let's talk about that. They can't reject honesty because because it's true, right? It's like okay. you can't reject that, right? So you can, yeah. okay, and you can't. You know, specifically, re- when when you're talking to expireds, like you said, everyone's calling the same exact expired. Everybody's got the same exact opener. Everybody's getting hung up on the same exact, you know, after two lines, and everybody sounds the same. But when you call people and you're just being you, like you actually care about the people and knowing that you have a strategy in place to create connections with people anywhere, anytime, it's game over. That's how my clients are winning the game right now. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's find out how. So like you, you talk a lot about NLP, right? Neuro Linguistic right. Programming. Correct. Explain what that is. Okay. You're like uh, neuro as in, you know, let me break it down, you know, dictionary terms. Neuro as in brain. Linguistic as in the words you use and programming as in creating a result, programming someone to create a result, programming something to create a result. So in essence, what I teach people is how to use their words in a very effective manner to plant whatever thought they want to plant in the mind of the prospect to get them to do exactly what you want them to do, but have them think that it was their idea to begin with. Okay. So, (laughs) you know, what are we doing right now, Pat? We're having a conversation. Yes. That's what we're doing. Okay. Yes. Now, when you call an expired, what are you doing? You're having a conversation. A lead comes in from whatever source. You text back, you know, what are you using? You're using words. The whole entire transaction is based around the conversation, the communication, the words. And it just blows my mind that everybody's trying to study everything, every single moving part of the whole entire real estate 
you know, transaction, et cetera. But nobody is studying how to master their words. When that's all they use is their words. You master your words, you master the art of communication, and then you master the whole entire business. Okay. So uh, I want to, we want to learn with some like usable action items and some things that people could take away from listening to this episode here today. So can we like talk about the listing presentation? Can I walk you through like the yeah. listing presentation? You tell me some NLP tips for each point. Perfect. Starting with, I get a call from a, a seller who wants to sell their house. Right. Yeah. And, and I'm calling them to find out the basics about the house, why they're moving. Da, 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 da. What what is something I can do to NLP them, neuro linguistic program to make and which essentially, by the way, guys, there's a there's a there's a reason why you, why we're doing this. And it's to get the person to like you more, get the person to trust you more and eventually get the person to list with you because they feel like you get them and they get you. Right. Right. Am I right? right. Okay. Absolutely. So, so tell me, what, what can I do? What do I need to be aware of on the initial okay. phone call? Well, on an initial phone call, so this is from the moment after you set the appointment, correct? Or to set the appointment? This, this is yeah, to set it, to set it. Okay, to set it. So the first most important thing that you got to do is you got to get the following, that whatever response you are getting from the client, okay, is a reflection of your approach, okay? So in order for you to get better responses from the people you're speaking to, you got to take responsibility and change your approach. So psychologically speaking, NLP speaking, we're talking about building instant rapport. How do we build instant rapport? Well, if you only are utilizing the telephone, you do that by number one, appearing as if you are someone that they already know. Okay. Because, you know, when someone calls you up, you know, if, if I don't know you, Pat, I'm going to call you up and I'm going to say, hey, can I speak to Pat? Okay, you're going to be like someone that knows me ain't going to call and say, can I speak to Pat? They're going to say, hey, Pat, how you doing? You get where I'm going? So, yeah, that's, so I'm that, that's one major tip right there, specifically for the people who are calling on expires because when you say, can I you know, speak to Mr. Smith? You know, <laughs> you know, they're going to say Mr. Smith is not here, even though it's Mr. Smith on the other end of the line. So that's number one. Number two, I no, say. No, I like this. I like this. I had a guy on my show recently that, that what he does is he sends texts. And then going back to expires, he sends texts expires. And his text, get this, and I'm not kidding you, is, dude, what happened? <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all. Three words. That is so clever. And that's it. And it works, right? Because everyone else is saying, dear Mr. Johnson, I see that your house on 123 <laughs> has expired. My specialize in selling homes that others cannot sell. He just put, dude, what happened? And, yeah. and people, people are like, hello? <laughs> hey. <laughs> and it works. It works. Anyway, so I get it. So I get it, right? So you're, 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 you know, and I've always felt that way too. I'd be like, hey, you know, how you doing? Yeah. You're shoddy, shoddy. Yeah pick it up shoddy like yeah. that you know right yeah okay, yeah so, keep going. Im so what immediately else? immediately uh you know i teach my clients i say you know you got to get good at mimicking their rate of speech you know if they're speaking fast you got to speak fast if they're speaking slow you got to slow down because and i give the perfect example of that it's like we all know an elderly person in our life grandma grandpa neighbor etc and you know they tend at, at an older age they tend to speak a little bit slower than you know most people do and when we speak to them, we naturally do what? Like, really think about this. We naturally do what? We naturally slow down, mm, okay? Okay, yeah. so we're already doing these things with all the people that we are already connected with. And I say to my clients, look, now you need to do it with every other person that you're not connected with so you can create that connection because everyone in their life is speaking one way. And if you come on and have a conversation with them any other way, they put their guard up, okay? That's how we knock the wall down, okay? And that's how we create instant report. That's one tip. There's many more. Hey, guys, as you know, my book, Six Steps to Seven Figures, has been a New York Times bestseller and a USA Today bestseller with over 30,000 copies sold to real estate agents and real estate investors alike. And uh, listen, I have decided to do something really special here. I am going to give away 200 copies. Yes, I'm going to give away 200 copies that I have 
And all you need to do to get one is to go to free six steps book.com. That's free six steps book.com, all spelled out S I X steps book.com. And you can fill out a form, and all you need to do is pay the shipping and handling, and I'm going to send you that book absolutely free. Or simply text the word PAT to 444-999. My goal is for you to have this book if you haven't read it yet. An absolute must for any real estate agent's library. Six Steps to Seven Figures, a real estate professional's guide to building wealth and creating your destiny. Just go to free six steps book.com and fill out the form and I will send it to you absolutely free. Or simply text the word PAT to 444-999. That's P-A-T to 444-999. Hey, real estate agents and rock stars. If you're getting value out of the content in this episode, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the little bell icon to be notified about upcoming episodes. And I would also love it if you left a comment and shared the most impactful tips and tactics you've learned from the knowledge shared in this episode or even maybe make a suggestion requesting a topic of what you'd like to learn in future episodes. I welcome any feedback below. Now, back to the episode. I like it, and so pay attention. So so first, act like you know them, act like they're an age-old friend. Second, pay attention to their their voice inflection and how fast or slow they're talking and and immediately emulate, match and mirror that. Okay. Absolutely. now we're going to go um, and we're going to knock on the door. Yeah. Right? What is your advice on? Can we, can we back up? Let me give yeah, you sure. Let's let's before that. Whatever you, okay. want, whatever you want. Yeah. So, you know, th- there's, there's, there's average agents in the marketplace and then there's above average agents in the marketplace. Obviously the above average people are doing more numbers and they're doing it for a reason. It's because specifically the people I'm working with are converting more of the appointments that they go on not so much by just what they do at the appointment. Because now we just said the appointment, now we're going to the appointment. There's certain things that have to take place prior to you going on the appointment. And I'm not just talking about qualifying. I mean, qualifying is important, right? Okay, so most people, what did they qualify? Most people qualify for, hey, what does this seller want? What does this seller need? Do they have a problem that I can solve for them? Is there another person who's gonna, you know, be making a decision that needs to be present? You know, what is their financial ability like? Etc. Okay, so that's what people qualify for, and that's a lot to qualify for. But Pat, what we do is we take it further. Okay, what we want to know is if I'm going to go meet with that person, I want to know how they think. Okay, because if I understand how they think, I can alter their thinking. I want to know how they make decisions because if I know how they make decisions, the process that they use, then I can influence that decision. I want to know how they process information so the information I give them is, fits their process. So at the end, there's absolutely no questions and it becomes a no-brainer. I got to work with this guy. Okay. Now, this is something that most people don't even talk about. And that's the difference that makes the difference. <laughs> that's the difference that makes a difference. I love it. Okay. All right. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. So, so let's, let's take it to real life examples, right? Yeah. Um, boom, I ring the doorbell. Yeah. Give me some NLP tips, some, you know, because first impressions, you know, a lot of people say, Hey, you know, first 20 seconds that you meet somebody, you decide whether yeah. you, you like them or not. So how right. do I make sure that they like me? Okay. So I'll tell you one thing I've always done that like totally helped me eliminate my competition when I was going on listing appointments is number one, dress the part, dress the part. Okay. Okay. So number one, dress the part. Number two, big smile. You got to appear confident. Like you got to walk in with confidence. Okay. So you walk in with confidence and then you got to take control. You got to take control and take control doesn't necessarily mean how people are like somebody heard me say, take control 10 seconds ago. They probably defined it a different way. I'm talking about taking control by giving them control. Okay. So taking control is by like a lot of people say, Hey, can I walk through the property so I can look at it through the eyes of the actual buyer? Mm -hmm. Okay. I say take control. Okay. By giving them control and have them show you the property 
and then cleverly embed specific thoughts in their mind. This is setup time right now. Okay. So I'll give you an example. Yes. I walk in, handshake, whatever, you know, I'm just apart, you know, and I say, you know, Pat, as you walk me through the property, okay, I want you to do me a favor, please. Okay. Because at the end of the day, we want to sell this house for top dollar, right? Yes. Okay. And no one knows this home better than you do. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. Good. So as you show me the property, please, you know, let me know what areas of the home do you want me to highlight in my marketing so we can connect the right buyers who are willing to pay that dollar for your property. Can you do that for me? Absolutely. Okay. What am I telling you to do here? Be in control. Yeah. Okay. Number one, being in control. Number you're two, in control, I'm right. creating. You're, you're, okay. you're in control, but you're, you're having me being in right. control. I get but it. Pat, listen to my language patterns. I'm already okay. speaking to you as if I'm taking the listing. I've already mm -hmm. taken the listing in my mind. No, okay. See. You know, it's like, hey, I've already taken the listing. I'm going to market your property. Help me market it. Tell me how do you want me to market from the get go. Okay. That right there is game changer. Game changer. So that's number one. So now, after we tour the property, you know, I tell, you know, my clients, no pen and pen. Okay. If what they are sharing with you is important, they're only going to see it as important by what it is that they are observing you do. Take note of what they tell you is important. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you go to the doctor, they're taking notes. Yes. Okay. You are the listing doctor. Think about a waiter or waitress that won't write stuff down when you order it. I mean, like, like wow. everybody start. will be dying from allergic reactions. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Same thing, right? Like the, you're like, this waiter's, uh, you know, uh, it just makes me nervous. So why would yeah. you want to make them nervous by like not writing stuff down? Like, oh, I'm going to have to repeat myself. Yeah. yeah. Right? Okay. So let's say we tour the property. At, you know, after we tour the property, what are we going to do? We're going to sit down. Okay. And, and to me, some people say, hey, sit at the kitchen table. Some people say, sit in the living room. I say, it don't matter where you sit. Okay. It's all about the conversation that you're having with them. So you can ask them, hey, where would you like to sit? It doesn't matter. You know, don't, don't lead them one way or the other. Give them control. Let them control where, because where they're going to sit is they're going to sit you down in the place that they're going to feel most comfortable in. Okay. Where you're going to try to take them to sit might not be their, pray, their, their place of comfort. True. Okay. So we want to keep them in a place of comfort. And then the conversation, as you sit them down, you say, Mr. Seller, as the listing agent that you have selected to represent you, what I did is I went ahead and created what's called a comparative market analysis, okay? And I'm gonna walk you through that right now. Did you pick up on what I did? No. Maybe our audience that's listening to this may, <laughs> I guarantee you 90% of the people I mean, never even picked up on what I just yeah, said. No, 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 I didn't. Okay. I mean, okay. you said what, what I think any agent should say. Right. right. So, but here's what I said. I said, as the agent that you have selected to represent. Oh, you, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Well, what am I doing here? This is NLP. What am I doing? I'm implanting in your mind that you've already made the selection. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they're going to be listening differently. And after I walk them through the CMA, okay. And we, we have a specific way that we do the CMA, my clients, completely different than, you know, most people teach it. And then after you walk up through the CMA, you say, again, uh, you say, uh, and as the real estate professional is going to sell your home for top dollar, I'm sure you want to know exactly how I am going to do that for you, right? Yes. Good. Look at that, right? Boom. Again, you see, you know. And I, mean, and I think I think a lot of people might be like listening to this, saying, um, um, it, it it's uh, here's the uh, let me you know, and I want you to address this, but uh, they're like, oh, they're going to catch me. Never. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Never. they're going to catch me. Like, Never. like we had um, Ross Jeffries. You know who he is? Of course. Yeah. Well, so he came on the show and, um, you know, had a lot of comments on Facebook and things. They're like, oh, I can't say that or I can't do that. It's too intentional. And um, yet, w w yet when people did actually, I talked to a guy the other day uh, who ended up hiring him and, and uh, having him coach his, his listing agents. And uh, they said it worked. They said the stuff worked. You know what I mean? They, they practiced it and it was a little out of their comfort zone. Right? Yeah. But uh, because they felt canned, 
and it felt sneaky, you know? Um, Intentions, everything. It's the intention. You know, somebody give you a knife, you know, you can use it to carve steak with it and eat it, or you can take that knife and do some other kind of damage with the knife. So it's all about intention, you know, and, you know, it could be used for good or evil. We use it for good, you know, specifically when we know that who we are are, you know, people of contribution, people that are trying to make a difference for our community. And and that's why with my clients, I say, first, we got to work on, you know, your mind and your intention before I give you these tools and strategies because I want to because in the wrong hands it is dangerous but we're doing it for good <laughs> hey real estate rock stars this is Pat Hyben and before we jump back into today's content I want to tell you about an extraordinary offer from an extraordinary company I'm talking about my outdesk if you haven't heard of my outdesk basically they are a virtual assistant company a VA company that specializes in virtual assistance for real estate agents. Yeah, I'm talking about transaction coordinators, marketing assistants. I'm talking about ISAs, inside sales agents that prospect thousands and thousands of seller leads and buyer lead follow-ups. I mean, these guys are trained in this stuff specifically. You're not using a company that doesn't know or understand real estate sales. Four out of five of the top teams In the U.S., use my Outdesk for their virtual assistants. And because I know the owner, Daniel Ramsey, I've known him for over a decade, and I know how awesome and incredible this company is and how it saves agents thousands and thousands of dollars every single week and makes them thousands and thousands of more every single week, we are going to give you a $400 coupon off of your first month of a virtual assistant and give you a free book entitled Scaling Your Business with Virtual Professionals. So you can like read it and look into it before you decide anything. It's called Scaling Your Business with Virtual Professionals. And you can get it real easy. All you gotta do is text the word HIBAN, H-I-B-A-N to 31996. That's H-I-B-A-N to 31996 and download your free book, Scaling Your Business with Virtual Professionals. And don't forget to mention also that you get a $400 discount, which will give you a coupon for that when you download the book. Thank you, guys, and I hope you enjoy and make a ton of money using my Outdesk. Hey, real estate agents and rock stars. If you're getting value out of the content in this episode, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel. Also, click the little bell icon to be notified about upcoming episodes. And I would also love it if you left a comment and shared the most impactful tips and tactics you've learned from the knowledge shared in this episode, or even maybe make a suggestion requesting a topic of what you'd like to learn in future episodes. I welcome any feedback below. Now, back to the episode. In the wrong hands, it's dangerous. That's interesting, you know? That's, yeah, you're right. I mean, and the funny stuff is his all came, his all came from picking up women. Yep. So it kind of goes back to that, is that, you know, that's where it started. Anyways, it's interesting that that comment that you said kind of plays into that a little bit. So, so um, but, um, so, uh, okay, so now let's say um, – you're getting friction. You do all these things, right? You're planning these things and they're saying, yeah, um, well. No, Pat, we don't get friction. We don't get friction. We eliminate friction before it comes up. There's a process for everything. All right. Okay. So basically, if if we take a look at the whole entire sales process, the process is number one, the sales got to take place in your mind before it can take place in the physical universe. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, you got to use assumptive language patterns as if it's already happened. Okay. Wait okay. Well, let's, let's slow it down a little bit. Okay. So uh, number one, say it again. Assume the sale. The Assume sale's got to take place in your mind. In your mind. Before it, it can take place deal. in the physical universe. Uh, okay. okay. I, I, I agree with that. Number two. Number two, use assumptive language patterns. Which is what you've been teaching us here. Exactly. Right. Speak as if it's already happened. Speak as if it's already happened. Okay. Number three. Qualify them. How do they think? How do they process information? 
how do they make decisions and then everything else, you know, bedrooms and all that good stuff. Uh, how in the hell do you do that? Okay. Well, um, okay. So I'll give you an example. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to know how you make decisions. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you got to make a big decision. Okay. Uh, people make decisions based on emotion. Okay. The two major emotions, you know, there's, you know, a lot of, a lot of words to describe emotion, you know, um, uh, you know, frustration is an emotion, you know, excitement is an emotion. Um, you know, stress is, you know, an emotion, etc. but they all fall under two categories, either the category of pain or pleasure. Okay. So some people, this transaction for them is to move away from pain. For some people, it's to move towards a pleasurable experience. And of course, whoever is moving away from pain is moving towards pleasure and, you know, et cetera. So I want to know how you make the decision. And I, I unpack that by asking a series of questions. Let me teach you four questions. So for our listeners out there, you want to grab your pen and paper. If you're driving, you want to go back and listen to this again. Question number one, Pat. What is important to you about, and then fill in the blank. You know, what is important to you about moving to the next city, or what is important to you about selling your home? Fill in the blank, okay? Now, you're going to tell me what's important about that. And then I say, and what will blank, whatever your answer was to question number one, ultimately do for you? And then I say, and what will that do? And then I'll say, tell me more about that. So let's do a little quick role play. Do you mind? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So let's say you're a seller. Pretend you're a seller. Okay. okay. Yep. So I say, hey, Pat, tell me what is important to you about selling this home? This was our dream home. And, um, you know, it echoes now. Our kids are in college and it echoes now. And what's important is that, you know, I've, I've improved it. You know, you've said yourself, I've, oh, well, you haven't said it, but some neighbors have told me I've over improved it. And I just want to make sure that I get back the equity that I deserve out of it and uh, that it goes to a good family who enjoys it as much as we did. Terrific. Okay. And while we're getting, getting all the equity out, okay, that, you know, you, you deserve will ultimately do for you. What will all of that do for you? It'll make me feel good that I, you know, made smart business decisions and was able to treat my family to a dream home at the same time. Terrific. Tell me more about that. What do you mean? Well, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, we do things in life and, and, and they create magic moments and incredible times as a, as a family. And um, it's very hard to do that and, you know, make money at the same time. Uh, almost impossible. So probably the, um, unless you're working together on some money-making project. So the fact that I could do that and not, and also be able to make money as if it were an investment, you know, is important to me because I'm an investor and I like making smart investments. And I realized that, you know, it wasn't an investment. I wouldn't want to say it was an investment, but let's be real. This is um, the biggest thing I've ever owned. So I'd love to. Terrific. Good. And what will all of that ultimately do for you, Pat? Just give me a sense of satisfaction, really. I mean, you know what okay. I mean? Like, you know. Right. Okay. So basically what I need to do, okay, is I need to listen intentionally to your responses. So for our listeners, if, you were to, if you're taking notes and you want to write down something, you want to write down, listening is the foundation to all your powers of influence. Listening is the foundation to all your powers of influence. So in listening to you, I got to pay attention. Is he using words that are describing pain or is he using words that are describing a pleasurable experience? And in that moment, once I decide which one you are, I got to tailor my presentation and the words that come out of my mouth to either paint a picture of like, if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, you're going to experience more pain. And yeah. if you're a pleasure-driven person is doing what I want you to do equals the pleasure of you being able to sell this home, take your equity out, and be able to give it to people that deserve it, and then, you know, being able to invest and do all the things that you want to do. So, so what, what, what's your answer to that? I think you're pleasure-driven. Yeah, that's what I was going to say too. So, yeah, pleasure-driven. Okay. Absolutely, okay. yeah. But now watch this. Watch this. Let me make another point. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let Let me yeah. just finish this thought process here. Cause, finish it. So and then, then I'm gonna okay. drop a good one on you. Yeah. Okay. So give me some words, or some sentences, or something, or some actions to take for pleasure 
driven people. Okay, I'm going to give it to you in one moment. Is that okay? Yeah, because I'm okay. not going to forget that I'm going to give it to you. Because okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine something else with it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Now, okay. Pat, you are the kind of person, okay, that, you know, people, like, remember we talked about how do they process information? Mm -hmm. People, when you're speaking to them, they're either turning your words into pictures, okay, they're visual, and or they're auditory. They're just hanging on to your words and or they're kinesthetic, you know, they're emotions. They're taking your words and it's triggering an emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you need to find out the person you're speaking to, how do they process that information? Because if I'm going to give you that sentence that you're asking for right now, that example, I want to give it to you perfectly. I want it to fit perfectly. You happen to be a very visual person. Yeah. When, yeah, when I was thinking about that, I was, you know, visualizing the house and I was the, the, the dream house because it really was, I mean, that was a real life. That's when we sold our house. We yeah. just, you know, recently. So, um, so I was visualizing the house. I was visualizing the, um, the, the additions that we put on and the things that we did to make it like perfect for us. Um, so, yeah. Okay. See, I, see, I know what I'm looking for from the prospect I'm speaking to. Okay. And now I've identified that you are moving towards pleasure and you're a visual person. Mm. Okay. So watch this. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Yeah. Or, or do you see what I'm talking about? Right. Okay. Which one is it? You hear what I'm talking about or you see what I'm talking about? I see. See? So I got to use the words that resonate with the way your mind thinks. So Pat, mm. clearly you're beginning to recognize, okay, that the moment that you hire me is the moment that your dream of selling this home and cashing out more equity than what you even thought you could cash out becomes a reality. Can you see that? Yeah, I see. Okay. So I like that. So clearly is a word because it's visually okay. clear. See? Um, you used the word see a couple of times. Um, you used the word dream, which I used, right? Dream house. And you right. used that. What else? Recognize. I want you to pay attention to what Recognize. it is. Yes. Okay. okay yeah. So that right there is all structured. Mm. Okay. So if we go back to what it is that we were speaking about in terms of the listing presentation and back to the steps. So step number one, we said assume the sale, obviously build rapport, assume the sale, use assumptive language patterns, qualify them so you really understand them and get them. And when they know you got them, they like you and they trust you, therefore they will listen to you. And what are they gonna be doing at the presentation? They're gonna be listening. But your presentation is gonna be totally tailored and customized on everything that we already unpacked. So everything that they're looking for just showed up. Yeah. There's no objections. There's no friction. Now, is there a way to figure the people out, whether they're kinesthetic, whether they're visual, auditory, on the yeah. phone call ahead of time? Absolutely. But I think that a lot of people might be listening to this going, yeah, this is awesome stuff, but, but you know, I'm going to panic. Because I'm going to be like, oh, what are they? Are they visual yeah. or they audio? You know, you know what I mean? And then by the time they figure out their plan of attack, you know, the dude's like, hey, well, we got another agent coming in five minutes. Yeah. No. So basically, you know, I've already given you guys the answer on how to do that. And I said, listening is the foundation to all your powers of influence. It's just sad that most people don't listen. They're worried about what do I say next? What's the next yeah. line on the script? Did an answer the, in, in the order that, you know, this other guru said they're going to answer in the role play. Okay. I said, just be you, man. Just be you. Believe in your product. Believe in your service. Believe in yourself. Okay. And just have conversations with people, but really understand the psychology of human behavior and the psychology of selling and unpack that stuff. So you listen to the words they're using. I, I can even visualize something you can create or maybe already created where it's almost like a a box cut into four pieces and then in each corner it's like a visual auditory to kinesthetic um it's just the three right visual auditory right. kinesthetic so, okay, so, so pat three. what are, what are the things that we we did is we gave uh, i believe you're giving away you know my objection handling booklet that uh, you know sent you guys or something yes, like that yes, okay yes. so in it there's a qualifying sheet and on the bottom of the qualifying sheet you can see it says V-A-K, that means mm -hmm. visual, auditory, kinesthetic, because when they're qualifying the prospect, they get to circle which one it is. Yeah. And then it says P-L or P-A, are they pleasure or are they, you know, pain-driven? And then it says, you know, either I or E, are they internal people or external people? That's another one that, you know, another thing that we can unpack. But 
I think we've given enough for today. Yeah, yeah. People's heads are going to pop off. This is this is really good. Um, um, okay, so um, uh, you know, you know, this is awesome. So tell me about a, a little bit about uh, top agent coaching. What do you, what do you guys do? Like, um, um, y- yeah. You know. So 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 Pat, the name of the company is uh, you know top listing agent. That's what we specialize in. Is you know teaching you know real estate agents from anywhere in the country. It doesn't matter what marketplace you're in. You know how to become more of a listing agent. Uh, I'm not going to say the word top because different people define the word top differently. For some people at 20, you know, listings a year, they're a top agent. For some people, it's 100 plus listings a year. You know, they're, they're, they consider themselves top listing agent. So we teach you how to become a listing agent no matter what. And uh, we offer a lot of free material online. You know, we have a podcast. You know, we have a YouTube channel. You know, I have a private Facebook group. Uh, if anybody Google my name and or if you provide the, 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 the resources, uh, they can tap into um, the, the free re- resources on, on how to do that. But what we focus on, the, the main flagship program is called Listings on Demand. That's my flagship program, Listings on Demand. So Love top it. Of I mean, who doesn't want Listings on Demand, right? Bingo. Okay. So in that program, what we do is, number one, we reprogram your mind. That's the first thing I got to do is I got to reprogram your mind. I got to get you to believe that you're already a top listing agent who hasn't taken the listings yet. Do you see that? It's yeah, the no, reprogram. That in life, absolutely. You know, if you don't believe you can do something, you ain't going to do it. Right. And Pat, we usually do that like literally within a matter of about seven days maximum. Most people that begin the program within 24 hours, they can't go to sleep. And they can't go to sleep not because they're worried about anything. They can't go to sleep because they're so excited to get to the next video, to get to the next training, because they know they just found exactly what it is that they've been looking for. Okay. And then from there, you know, it's like we do teach lead generation, but that's not the most important thing that we teach because everybody wants leads, but they don't understand how easy it is to get leads. Okay. What we teach them is how to convert the leads. And we do that immediately. Because, you know, I mean, if you do an open house, then buyers walk in and you get none of them. You ain't got a lead generation problem. You got a lead conversion problem. So the, the core of the program, we work with you on your mind. We work with you on the whole entire sales process from the A to the Z and everything in terms of lead generation. So that's listings on demand. That's awesome, dude. So, so what I'm going to do, guys, is, is I'm going to put um, all of Shadi's information, put links to his website, links to his social media stuff. Um, if you want to reach out to him, uh, it, it'll all be there. Uh, I'm going to also put his free gift, right? Um, yeah. Which your, your free gift is uh, uh, objection. What is it? Scripts? Script 30, right? 37 pages. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. Every single objection that you could possibly think that you're going to get over the telephone and trying to set an appointment, I got it for you in a way that you've never heard. So it's not familiar to any other script you've ever been exposed to wow so um that's all free guys so that will be on hybendigital.com backslash shoddy now here's the thing shoddy is spelled with a c what where, where where's where where's where you originated from i uh originated from my mom and dad no i mean the, the, I'm, the, messing with you. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm lebanese i'm from lebanon lebanon okay so that's a lebanese name shoddy yeah. so uh, so in lebanon the c is like an s here so it's yeah. it's C H A D I C H A D I, so Shadi Bazi B A double Z I Shadi Bazi, hybendigital dot com backslash Shadi Bazi, and um, it will also be in the Agent Success Toolbox, which you could find on hybendigital dot com backslash toolbox, or guys, you could just text the word toolbox to four 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 nine nine nine. Um, and it'll all be there. So Shadi, listen, and this has been brilliant. I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, I hope you stay in touch. Uh, uh, there's a lot we can collaborate on. And in this stuff that you gave today is powerful, man. It's meat and potatoes. It's exact advice. It's sales advice, exact same thing that I strive to give on this show. So I'm glad, uh, that you shared it and I'm, I hope that everybody listening can use it. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the opportunity and, uh, you know, it's all about making a difference at the end of the day. And I just want to thank you for having this show because you definitely are making an impact in this industry that we both love so much. You're welcome. 
want you to think about the word toolbox. What is a toolbox? A toolbox is a box full of tools that you use to build something great. At Real Estate Rockstars, we've created our own free toolbox. So everybody that comes on the show as a guest brings a tool with them and we plow them all into this toolbox and we give it away for our viewing audience to basically use as they wish. Everything we put in there is an actionable item that can be downloaded, can be printed, can be used immediately. And we got things like scripts and dialogues, checklists for teams, checklists to keep agents accountable, referral forms that are filled out at settlement to get referrals by your buyers and sellers. Everything you could think of that you could use on a regular basis about real estate is included in this toolbox. And it's helping agents worldwide sell more houses and make their jobs a lot easier and processes much more efficient. And the thing is, it's absolutely free. All you gotta do is go to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or text the word toolbox to 444-999. That's toolbox 444-999. Do it now. Rockstar Nation, thank you for listening to Real Estate Rockstars. Listen, I need a favor. If you find this free content helpful, if you find our downloadable items from each guest helpful, please, I need you to pull out your pointing finger. Yes, the one finger that points at people and hit subscribe. Yes, subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the better we look in the ratings and the easier it is to get guests like Robert Kiyosaki, Barbara Corcoran, all the players that are on million dollar listing in the different cities. All that stuff makes it easier the more subscribers we get. So please subscribe. And listen, there's a lot of places you can leave comments. There's a lot of places you can like. We're on Facebook. We have an Instagram page. Instagram page is I am Pat Hyben. The Facebook is Real Estate Rockstars Radio. Feel free to leave us comments there. The most popular form of commenting seems to happen on YouTube. Yes, for whatever reason, it's a, a very open environment. So just go to YouTube and go to Real Estate Rockstars Radio. Leave us comments there. Some of them we will read on the show. We love your feedback. So thanks, guys, and I hope you are having a great day. Oh, and also, listen, if you're going to subscribe and you haven't already left a review on iTunes, please do that too. Have a great day and thanks so much, Rockstar Nation. I really appreciate you.